magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Kumusta po kayo? Abay, malapit na po tayong matapos sa ating 40-day journey ng ating purpose-driven life. At ka, last Friday, ating pong tinalakay ang We Are Made for Mission. So, yun po. So, ngayong umaga, ating pong tatalakayin ang tatalakayin ang ba kung ano po ang i-share natin sa ating mission. So, bago po ang lahat, tayo po ay manalangin. Magandang umaga po, Panginoon, pinupuri at dinadakila ka namin. Patawarin niyo po kami sa aming nagawang di kagulugod-lugod sa iyong kaharian. Salamat po o Diyos sa bagong umaga, sa bagong pag-asa, sa bagong oportunidad na naman na maranasan ang iyong pagpapala at biyaya. Ikaw po ang manguna sa devotion na ito. Liwanagin mo po ang bawat isip at puso ng mga nakikilig. Gawin mo po ang maging mabunga ang araw na ito. May your kingdom come, may your will be done, today as it is in heaven. Amen. Ika nga, tayong, ta, sabi nga tayong mga Kristiyano ay hin, tay, talagang tinawag na mag-mission at ipahayag ang ating Diyos kung ano po ang kanyang ginawa. So ngayong umaga po ay ating pong tatalakayin ang nasa day 37 na po tayo, sharing your life message. So ano ba itong life message natin na i-share. So, malalaman po natin. So, basahin po natin ang 1 Peter 3.15 But in your heart, set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Sabi po dito ay uh, nalagi tayong handa na sumagot sa sino mang humingi ng paliwanag sa atin tungkol sa pag-asang nasa atin. So ano ba tong pag-asa na nasa atin? Ito, ito yung message na ating i-share mula nung tinanggap natin si Heso Kristo na naging tagapag uh, na tayo tagasunod niya at naging tagapagligtas natin. So tayo ay naging kanyang messenger. So as God's messenger, we have to speak the truth. At ito ang ayaw na ayaw ng ating kaaway na gawin, ang i-share ang, ang ating Heso Kristo. So, the devil trying to stop us from that. But, we will not allow him to do that. So, we have to share. Yung last Friday nga, we are made for mission. So, ngayon, we, we are going to share our life message to everyone. So, paano natin i-share ang mensahe ng ating buhay? So, there are four parts kung paano ba natin i-share ang ating mensahe sa ating buhay. So, one is your life message include your testimony. Ano ba itong testimony natin? Ito po yung testimony natin kung paano po tayo nag-start nag na magkaroon ng relationship kay Lord Jesus Christ. Kung paano siya natin tinanggap ang ating Panginoon. Alam kong lahat po tayo ay may iba't ibang testimony. Hindi po tayo maybe pare-parehas tayo ng dinaanan pero yung testimony natin, iba-iba po unique ang ating testimony ng bawat isa. So sabi nga sa binasa natin, be ready at all times to answer anyone who asks you. So the best time to be ready is to write your testimony to make it short. So, meron kami noon may nuturo sa amin na 3 minute testimony na parehas din dito sa nabasa ko. So, yung first part, 1 minute is what my life was like before I met Jesus. At yung second 
yung isa pa is how I realize I need Jesus. So ito ba ito yung daw yung bago natin tinanggap si Yesu Cristo. Ano bang klasing buhay tayo noon? So that is one minute. Yung is, yung second yung pang one minute is how I committed my life to Jesus. Paano natin ikinomit ang at paano natin tinanggap ang ating Panginoong Diyos? E wala pang ang one minute yun. The explanation. So yung four is for part is the difference Jesus has made in my life now kung, oh, I want to share my testimony when I was uh, nung hindi ko pa tinanggap si Yesu Cristo though Christian kami, pumunta kami sa church narealize ko pa rin na I need Jesus Christ in my life so during that Sunday school I was grade 6 na, na nagpatanggap ang aming Sunday school teacher so that time I received Jesus Christ as Lord, as my Savior. So, nung ako lang yung batang hindi naglalaro ng pagkatapos ng Sunday School namin, dumediretso ako sa aming at, uh, sa my praise and worship. Nakikinig ako ng mga sermon. Do, parang nakita ko yung kapasyon ko talaga noon na makinig. So, hindi ako nakikipaglaro. So, diretso ako sa church. Tapos, Nakikinig ako ng sermon kahit hindi ko maintindihan. And now I understand na the Lord um, develop, na develop yung passion ko na yon until ngayon. At maraming ginawa ng, ng Lord sa buhay ko from that on hanggang ngayon. Bakit ba kailangan natin i-share ang ginawa ni Jesus Christ sa buhay natin? O, ano, yung bellish ng buhay natin. Uh, one reason is people believe in personal stories than principles. Kasi ang mga tao naniniwala sila ng yung real life story than yung mga principles yung mga nababasa nila na uh, na share lang. So, number two our personal testimony is effective than a sermon. Sabi nga nila, mas effective yung personal experience natin kaysa yung naririnig nilang sermon mas ma, ma, uh, mas malaki ang credibility niya yung ating personal uh, testimony yung pangatlo naman is people will be humbled in, uh, if they heard personal stories ma ang mga tao ay humbled at naranasan ko yun i was humbled nung narinig ko ang personal story ng isang kapatid so i really um, mahahumble ka talaga pag naririnig mo yun so yun po, so yung first natin is your life message includes your testimony. So I know naman na hindi mayroon din mayroon din yung mga testimony natin na iba't iba. So na na ano din sa isang tao appropriate sa kanyang experience. So number 2, your life message includes your life lessons. Ano ba tong mga life lessons natin? Ano ba ang natutunan natin sa mga or includes um natutunan natin sa or mga insight that we have learned about about God, about our relationships, about our problems, about our temptations and other aspects of our lives. So minsan Sabi nga, paulit-ulit na lang ang problema kasi di tayo natututo. Sabi nga yung lesson, previous lesson natin, pag uh, we are slow learners kasi, kaya minsan na paulit-ulit ang nangyayari yung problema yun hanggang natututo tayo. So parang exam na paulit-ulit ka na hanggang makapasa ka, so pakasa ka sa next level. Pag alam natin yung mga story ng mga Israelites na paulit-ulit sila sa mga ginagawa nila. So sabi sa sabi sa Bible, over and sila ay nagkakasal over and over. Eh, but God rescued them, but they never learned. Until finally their sins destroyed them. So kung paulit-ulit at hindi na tayo natututo hanggang tayo ay i-destroy ng kasalanan. So it is wise to learn from experience, but it is wiser from the ex if we learn from the experiences of others so sabi nga sa proverbs 25:12 a warning given by a an experienced person to someone willing to listen is more valuable than gold rings or jewelry made of the finest gold 
So talagang very uh, valuable kung tayo ay natututo sa ating experience at saka sa experience, warning ng iba sa atin. So, so we have to write down the major life lessons we have learned so you can we can share them to others. So ano ba yung mga medyo yung mga alam kong marami tayong life experience pet ano ba yung major life na uh, experience natin o life learned natin sa ating buhay na ka, na pwede natin na talagang i-share natin sa mga iba at at makilala nila ang ating Panginoon na sinasamba. So number three, your life message includes sharing your godly passion. So yung previous lesson po natin na learn natin yung mga passion, yung mga gifts, things, kung ano ba yung gustong gusto nating gawin. So ito ay eh, God is, sabi nga, God is passionate God. Passionately loves something and passionately hates other things. Which what's this other thing? It's the sin. So as we grow closer to God, He will give us a passion for something He cares about deeply para ikaw ang spoke person niya. So as we grow closer to God, um, bibigyan tayo yung passion, yung burden na yon na maging burden natin at gawin tayo si Lord na maging spoke person niya on that uh, particular uh, passion or particular activity particular thing so gagamitin kani gagamitin tayo ni Lord para sa uh, furtherance ng kanyang kingdom so ano ba saan ba tayo na pwedeng gamitin ni Lord so, maybe you are passionate in starting a church maging church planter ka so maging passionate ka sa pagiging pl church planting parang si pastor Arnel mm. So, ano pa yun? Strengthening families. Maybe magaling kang mag-seminar, mag-advise mga mga sa strengthening families. Mga calling the couples, the families together, and then um, conduct a seminar or mag-organize, mga ganun. Passionate ka dun. So, funding. Meron din yung mga iba. Passionate silang mag-fund ng mga activities, ng mga young people, mga missionaries going to other countries. So, ano pa yung mga, at saka mga godly passions for reaching particular group. Maybe, para ma-share natin yung gospel. So, ano ba to? Yung sa gospel na isa, maybe sa business, sa mga businessmen, teenagers, mga foreign exchange students, mga students na to, at sa mga young mothers, mga, at marami pang ibang mga grupo. So, yun po. So, uh, yun po ang includes ng sharing ng godly passions natin. So, our life message includes sharing your godly passions. Our or our godly passions. So, number four naman po. So, number four is your our, your life message includes the good news. So, includes na itong good news. Ano ba tong good news na to? So, nasa 2 Corinthians 5, 18-19. Sabi niya, all this from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed us the message of reconciliation. So ito po yung good news na sinasabi that God want to reconcile the, the great love that has God uh, has na gusto niya i-reconcile tayo mga sin, mga tao sa kanya through the through his son Jesus Christ kaya namatay si Jesus Christ sa cross kasi para ma-reconcile tayo na ibigay ang reconciliation only that reconciliation comes when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and be our uh, maging Dios natin siya sa ating buhay. Kat pa, paano na paano naman nila malala ma paan ito naman ang trabaho natin as a message itong messenger as a messenger of Christ na ibahagi itong good news na si Jesus Christ na matay sa cross para i-reconcile tayo kay God at magkaroon ng everlasting life. 
So yun po sa John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Next po is that the time we were reconciled. Yun yung time yun na na-reconcile tayo kay Jesus Christ. That's the time that we will be that we are saved. So yun po ang message na ating ishare. So we must keep praying for the person that have not yet know Jesus Christ. Na gusto nating matanggap niya rin siya sa Kristo at makilala niya din. Makilala niya at ating Panginoon at tanggapin niya ang ating Panginoon. So Sabi nga, as long as there is one person in the community who isn't in the family of God, your church must keep reaching out. So yun po, marami po ang hindi po nakakikilala sa ating, sa ating community mismo. So kailangan natin i-reach out sila. So what are you willing to do so that people you know will go to heaven? Ano ba ang gagawin natin? Ano ba yung gusto natin para itong mga tao na hindi nakakilala kay, Pangin kay Heso Kristo ay makilala nila at makapunta rin sila sa heaven. So, ano bang gawin natin? Pwede natin silang invite sa church. Maybe you share your story. You share your story. Give them. You can give them book. You can give them our the, this 40-day um, purpose-driven life or any that book they can read about Jesus Christ. Maybe you can take them for a meal and then have, have time for them also. And pray for them. Every, so ito mas, mas pinakamahalaga, da, pinakamahalaga na gawin natin is to pray for them every day until they are saved. So imagine, pagpunta natin sa langit at nakita natin yung mga taong sineran natin at sasabihin, Oh, thank you for sharing the good news. Diba? What a joy that would be. So, in the book we learned, uh, in this, ah, uh, sorry, in this book we learned um, God's five purposes. So, na, na, lalaman natin yung mga God's purposes ni, uh, God's purposes in our lives. Number one is, He made you a member of a family. So, sa, sa previous lesson natin yun. Second is a model of His character. Third is a magnifier of His glory. And fourth is a minister of His grace. And fifth is a messenger of His good news. So, saan ba dito ang na ito lang ang na ma-fulfill dito sa, sa earth? Kundi ang messenger of His good news. So, it, tandaan po natin uh, short span lang ang life natin sa earth at ito po ay kailangan natin i-share ang good news so yan po ang pagtatapos ng ating day 37 sharing your life message so sharing your testimonies first and second is uh, sharing your life lessons and third is sharing your godly passions and fourth is uh, sharing the good news so, we have the point to ponder. God wants to say something to the world through me. So, we have a verse to remember. Be ready at all times to answer anyone who asks you to explain the hope you have in you. But do it gent in gentleness and respect. First Peter 3, 15 to 16. Uh, sorry, First Peter chapter 3, verse 15 to 16. So we have a question to answer. You may comment your answer below. As I reflect on my personal story, who does God want me to share it with? So okay, let's pray. Salamat po Diyos sa mensahe mo ngayon. We are awakened na hindi kami taga attend lamang po, taga upo sa simbahan, taga pakinig lang. Kundi kami ay humayo at ipahayag ang Good news, magandang balita sa mga taong di pa nakikilala sa iyo. So Lord, tulungan mo po kami na mahalin ang mga tao na ito na kagaya ng pagmamahal mo sa kanila. Na kami rin ay passionate na i-reach out sila para makilala ka rin as their Lord, 
and savior sa kanilang buhay. Give us the passion to share the good news. Help us to fulfill the mission you have given us. Thank you, Father. May your kingdom come. May your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.